Hey, this is Byron from Campo Vans, and we are going to show you a build from start to finish. So welcome to our shop. <laughs> okay. That's what I needed the whole time, but it just took some doing. Isaiah mounted the sink into the countertop earlier, so the countertop's fully finished as far as the finish is concerned. The last step is to obviously mount the countertop on the cabinet and then hook in the water lines for the sink. So I'm doing that right now so that we can pressurize the system, get it checked off the list, get it rolling, get it cranking. We're moving. Oh, it's Friday. The customer's picking up the van on Tuesday. We're almost done, which is huge. We're super stoked on the timeline thus far. We've really been able to chip away at things and check them off the list like we've been saying for the last six weeks on time. So we're stoked about that. This whole area up in here is finished. Now, with some clients, they like to have all the systems covered off so that they can't see much of it. This client wants it to be more accessible and visible so that he can know a little bit more about what's going on behind the scenes. So here we have the solar charge controller with breakers going from the solar panels to the charge controller, from the batteries to the charge controller, and then from the batteries to the fuse box. This fuse box is for all the 12 volt appliances in the van. So that's your fan, that's your lights, that's your USBs. And then here we have the Rixon hot water system controls. This is basically where you can decide, I want hot water, I want hot air, or I want less hot air, or I don't want hot air, but I still want hot water. It's a great system and it kicks some serious booty. Otherwise, systems wise, we're done. Water's good and pressurized, hot water works. The whole cabinet is finished. We just have to vacuum it out and uh, create one more area for storage in this cavity right down here. Um, one of the last things we do once uh, wall panels are in and most of the cabinets are in is we do trim pieces. So this is a big one. It just basically covers all the exposed metal and some of the wiring harness and some holes in the van that are there. So this is basically just three quarter inch wood that gets upholstered and kind of bends to the curve of the van. Um, another big piece is this guy right here, which covers the bolts for the sliding door track. Um, also another pretty intense trim piece. And then the last one that we call the B pillar plug is this guy down here. Also just a big piece of wood that kind of gets carved to the curve of the van and upholstered. So yeah, those are kind of big finishing touches we end up doing at the very end. And then in terms of cabinets, basically the last thing that has to happen is the folding piece in the middle. In the end, there's, you put these two aluminum bars in and then there's a, a panel here and a panel here that hinge off this corner and they come down to make your bed. But if you want to be hauling a bunch of plywood or a bunch of bicycles or something like that, you can hinge it up and then you have this huge open space in the middle, middle of your van. So this is driver's side under bed cabinet. We just do these elastic nuts. We've done it where it's been just open and we've done it with faces and we've kind of settled on this elastic system just because it's really easy to access and just a nice simple solution for that. And then the very bottom two, we, we do put doors on just in case you want to put stuff in there that's maybe more likely to fly out and it kind of hides this wheel well box that's underneath there. We also put L-Track um, along both cabinets um, just so if you want to strap stuff down uh, and we also put it up here in the corners. Basically the very last finishing touch is putting on the countertops. It makes everything feel finished. It's also just the last step in our process. 
So these have been coated with a finished coat of, it's a whey-based coat, so it's food safe. This is the dinette table for the dinette area that's gonna go in front of the folding seat, but behind the driver's seats. So this is a nice big piece of bamboo and it really warms up the van when it's in here. Looks really good. This is the first exterior folding leaf that folds down outside of the van. And then this is the interior folding leaf that folds up right next to the fridge. Um, this is the countertop for the storage behind the folding seat. Getting the, we're letting these dry and then uh, we're gonna throw them in the van here. Underneath the bed cabinet, we've got some under bed lights. Uh, we, we put four of them in here in the garage area just to keep things lit when you're loading and unloading bikes or luggage or what have you. This is our uh, exterior shower, so it's a quick release with a hot and cold adjustment. And then this is the water filler as well. So this is either stainless or plastic. We don't want anything to rust. This is a little uh, piece I am particularly proud of. Oh, there, now I can clearly see my water tank. Isn't that just sweet looking? Boom. This build is pretty much like 95% done. It's, uh, we've got all the systems in, everything's looking good. It's just uh, finishing details. The plan is to give it over on Wednesday, but I think we'll, we'll be ready by Monday or Tuesday, honestly. Um, now it just comes down to like a good clean and finishing touches, so we're feeling good. Any final words? Goodbye.